personal development. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about the subject. I'm just gonna honestly tell you what I've really found really just works for me, helps me, gets me motivated, gets me going, helps me, you know, know where I should be growing myself, what it is I'm slacking on. Because if you're missing any one of these, you're not gonna really get as far as you wanna get in life. Because you need to develop all of these. These are kind of crucial, they're essential. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. But if you're missing any one of these, you're not gonna get what you really want out of life because there's gonna always be something missing. So I'm gonna tell you what you're missing. There's a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Now I separate physical and emotional because I do feel like, so like let's take the emotional for example. You, can, you can't exactly be happy and sad at the same time, but you can be tired and happy. You can be tired and sad. So that's why I, I broke that into two separate categories because they can actually not conflict with each other and they can be two separate things, at least in my perspective, as you may want to call it. Now what this really means is that you're not going to really get to that place you want to be in life by going to the gym all day, working out every single day. That's still not going to get you where you want to be if you just work out every single day. Going to the library and reading books all day, that's still not gonna get you where you wanna be. Even with all the knowledge in the world, you still have to take action. Even with all the physicality in the world, you still have to take action beyond that. If you, even if you wanna develop that into career, you're not gonna become a professional fitness guy just because you went to the gym. It still takes more than that. Mental, spiritual, well I did, okay, emotional. Emotional, I'll just sum it up as, you know, if your emotions are on a roller coaster, they're going left, they're going right, one moment you're happy, one moment you're sad, one moment you're depressed, one moment you're excited, that's not gonna, obviously, that's not gonna let you be able to give your all into the world, all the energy, do everything you have, because you're wasting a lot of energy in these like emotional roller coasters. And then the last one, spiritual, it really just comes down to, honestly, I think that's the most important one for me, that's what I'm working on right now the most, that really just comes down down to if you can slow down and you can enjoy life because it was really the point of all of it what's really the point of getting stronger getting more smarter more emotionally stable getting all the success and dreams come true and everything you want out of your life the point is to be able to sit down to calm down to relax to enjoy the moment to be at peace to be happy and that does take a lot of spiritual growth which is why that's the one that is really kind of key for me right now, spiritual growth. Thinking about how I want to tackle this emotional intelligence thing, but to me it kind of really just rivals in with the spiritual, so I guess I'll kind of do them a little bit together. Because to me, spiritual is just like the ultimate master of everything. Now I explained earlier, you can have like emotional concerns, emotional whirlpools, we all kind of get that, you know, one moment you can be happy, one moment you can be sad, and I honestly think like spirituality, in a sense, like I use that word loosely, because I may not mean it the way you think about it, is really about being able to rise above that not having to be so concerned, so worried about it, not being lost in this loop. And it's just, when your thoughts go into some kind of loop, when your emotions go into some kind of loop, you're able to just pull yourself back to earth, reground yourself, recenter yourself, refine that center of peace inside of yourself. Not quite sure where I want to go with this video at this point. It's more of one of my groundwork videos. I have a lot of videos where I go really in depth on a specific subject and I'm trying to explain four separate subjects so I'm not going specifically into depth on every single on every single one of them because you know I could end up with potentially an hour video with me breaking them all down 20 minutes at a time if I really want to just kind of flush everything out on them. But I just honestly in this video I just wanted to lay out some groundwork because I think all of us, like I'll admit myself first, I'm lacking spiritually. I could do better in every aspect, honestly. I could be reading more books. I could be working out more. I could be eating better. I could have be more spiritually aware, more spiritually under control, more emotionally stable. Though I just really want to bring a point out of here to not 
forget about the other ones. It doesn't mean like right now I have to do all four at once. I'm not gonna work out, meditate while eating well, while watching how I feel emotionally. Usually you focus on one and the others take care of themselves and you just do it one at a time. Though if you get to a point in your life where you're just too focused on one, you can get completely lost in that and miss the whole purpose. Like there's too many of us, like I said, that they read books, but they don't exercise. Or they exercise, but they don't read books. And then you still got people who exercise, they read books, but there's no spiritual growth and development. And the only reason that's important, because it's really just about mastering your brain, mastering your emotions, like I tried to explain. And it's about when you get into a, like a negative loop, negative thought loop, negative emotional loop, being able to pull yourself back to earth and reground yourself, recenter yourself, which is why I feel like this is so important because it's not just about whatever you even might imagine it to be, whatever, whatever is going on in your mind. It's not even just about that. It's really, it's really about how to be happy in life how to enjoy life, how to just be in the moment, how to not be worried about things. And honestly, I think that's the most important one because it's like, what's the point of all of this? What's the point of the mental, the emotional, and the physical growth? Is it not, and even to get success, is it not so that you can just be happy, relax, carefree, and enjoy life? Point being for this video though, I kind of wrap up here. Which one maybe are you not so focused on? Where are you slacking? Which one can you be working on more? Honestly, I think it's always all of them in a sense. But where is your weak spot? Are you the guy who reads books and doesn't exercise? Or are you the guy who exercises and doesn't read? And you don't have to read. You don't, you don't want to read a book. Keep watching YouTube videos like this. Educate yourself. Get your mind stronger. Learn how to do more things so that maybe you can take that physicality and you can put it to use, put it to profit for you, put it to give you actually more success out of life. Center myself, recenter myself. See now that spiritual side comes in. Emotional, are you an emotional roller coaster? Do you just go back and forth? Like one moment you're happy, one moment you're sad and you just can't really control it? kind of going in my head now that I, I don't like when I do it I'm trying to teach you guys and I'm just I'm here not thinking too much going in my head now I'm starting to worry about the people too much now I guess now I, I gotta do that spiritual practice I talked about now I gotta do it see this is why I say that's really the most important one for me it's not anyone like I'm no work out as much as I should, I don't read books as much as I should, but I'm taking action, I'm executing, I'm doing something, I'm not just trying to stagnate, I'm trying to grow all of it, everything, I'm trying to be a balanced individual, because I mean honestly you could become really good at one thing, but that one thing is never going to give you everything, so I'm teaching you right now how to become good at everything, how you're actually going to master your life, master your dreams, your goals, your destiny. Kind of going off around. I'll wrap up the video. Which one are you lacking on? Which one are you slacking on? I admit for me, for me, it's really got to be that spiritual one. I think we all are probably lacking on that one because that's just what's going to let you actually be happy in life. But I don't want to start repeating myself too much. This video was kind of just like a groundwork video, like in a sense, trying to just poke some holes, maybe give you some clues about where you can start to redirect in your life for personal development. It's not really one of my specific ones. I have more, a lot more specific, more in-depth ones where I might talk about a specific thing and go on for like 15, 20 minutes about it. Today we're just groundwork. Which one do you think you can be you can improve on which one do you think you're slacking on which one do you think you need to work on more now i got over 100 videos on my channel so you can take a, a scroll through if you want more or more specifically about any one of these things and i hope you guys have a nice life not a nice day not a nice life because i want to change lives not days lives